Hey everybody, this is Cindy Allen, Editor-in-Chief of Interior Design. Well, today I'm with my good friends at Stone Source, the place to go for a curated selection of natural stone, porcelain tile, ceramic tile, glass tile, and much, much more. And today we're gonna take a tour of their showroom, a virtual one, and I'm gonna take it with you. And we're gonna see how it all works. Then we're gonna view product some of your faves and some exciting new collections to get us all inspired, just what we like to do. Okay, everybody, I'd love to welcome my good friends, Joe McIsaac, the president and CEO of Stone Source. Hi, Joe, how are you? Hello, Cindy, very nice to see you. It's great to see you. And Ron Solano, vice president of product development and procurement for Stone Source. Hi, Ron. Hello, Cindy, how are you doing? Great, well, you know, Typically, I'm seeing you, Joe, in the showroom, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. We love to use the showroom as a tool to bring people together, showcase product, have a good time, and be able to uh, have more intimate uh, one-on-ones. And so, obviously, these days, it's a little bit more difficult. Exactly. And, and I know that um, for a designer, it's a real treat whenever you're like going to go to Stone Source, even for me, go to Stone Source, see what's new. And so I know that the showroom is a big deal for you and you had to pivot really fast. So I'm very excited to hear about the virtual showroom. Tell me how it works. So it's a, it's a great story because d during the first few months of the, of the lockdown, we were all very concerned about how we were going to interact with our clients and what was the digital virtual world going to be like when you couldn't visit people's offices, bring them to the showroom. And so, you know, we think with a challenge like that comes opportunity. So right. that's the concept of the digital showroom. It's a... Um, it's a technology that exists. It's a, you know, it's a 3D camera. You shoot the whole showroom with the camera, but the user experience, which has been used in real estate, you've probably seen it if you've ever done a virtual tour on exactly. any of the real estate sites. So we just haven't seen it adapted to showrooms. And we thought probably in April or May, let's order the camera and just shoot the showroom. So since then, it's just been tremendous response. We're able to walk through the entire showroom We've got all of the products um, marked so that if you're interested in something that you see, you can zoom in on it, click on it, and it takes you to our website and you get more detail. Right. So you were saying, so every product then is tagged in a way that is useful for a designer, right? Exactly. And it's not cluttered. If you're not interested, you just go buy it. It has a little icon. And if you want to get more information, it's your choice. So it's been optimized for desktop, uh, laptop iPad and telephone, and, and you can do it on the phone. I mean, we most of which most of the practice we did was on the phone because we figured that that's the major way people are going to use it. Yeah, exactly. And so what you've created is so you've created this virtual showroom, but at the same time, um, also a tool for the designers. And you think about also that the showroom is a physical location, and, and we have ten across the country. Um, so you have to be within a, you know, X mile radius to visit the showroom. Now we have a showroom uh, and we picked our biggest showroom, the New York showroom that we shot, where you can be anywhere in the country and come to our showroom. So, so we think we've expanded the reach dramatically and that, you know, people need to have the opportunity to use these tools in their home or as they move locations from the office to the home to any other place that they might be. Yeah, and I, I know you were saying to me that it was like, you can get through the showroom in two minutes, but of course you never would because you'd stop a million places to look at tiles. And exactly. And it's super intuitive. It's very straightforward. It's not a new technology. We're just, it's a new application of a great new tech, of a great existing technology. Yeah, and I, and I know that, you know, all of these things are, you know, all these questions are happening and how do we solve them? And we think of Stone Source as a leader and in this, in this case, you're like, okay, we got a lead, right? Well, I think, you know, under, under challenging times, it's like one of the things is you get a great opportunity to say, what can we do to make the most of a difficult situation? You know, and by the way, um, if things were to be 100% normal and everybody's back to work, the digital virtual showroom would be a huge tool that we are going to have for the, you know, the next 20 years. So exactly. some of the things that we're figuring out right now 
um, are things that will help us no matter what. When we get back in, it's, you still have this tool. With our ability to use this technology uh, into the future is just, it's accelerated the need to be able to have people view the showroom without coming in. This type of change has accelerated what is a normal course of, uh, of the, the type of evolution of how we're going to communicate with our clients. Here's an interesting point. Our sampling did not change during the last six months. So people still want physical samples. But how do you figure out what samples you want and how do you get interested in the collections? And so the, the virtual showroom is the perfect tool. I love it. Okay, wait. All right. So now I want to I want to take the virtual tour. Okay, who's who's giving me the tour? <laughs> well, I'm going to start. So okay. we'll, as as we, as you as you enter the showroom, um, no, one of the no, first no, things. No, no, no. I'm so excited. Here. I'm going to the showroom. <laughs> as you enter the showroom, one of the first things we wanted to to highlight was the black and white collection from Floorgrass. It was um, one of our recent introductions, and and you know, kind of like the textile companies. Um, Everybody wants to know what's new. You have to have new collections. There has to be uh, product development going on constantly. And so at all of the trade shows, and we have two uh, um, launches each year, we have a spring and a fall launch. And so everybody's interested in what's new. So the collection from Floorgrass that we're gonna show you, the black and white collection, yeah. um, Floorgrass is probably one of the largest Italian manufacturers. You know, I mean, they're the Fiat. They're, they're, yeah. They're from uh, very affordable to high end. They're really good design. And they always seem to have um, some of the best design that really covers lots of categories. Mm -hmm. The black and white collection is uh, porcelain tile in a number of different um, shapes and sizes. And it's very bold blacks and whites. And it kind of echoes the very strong uh, Nero Marquino black Spanish marble or yeah. any of the white Carraras. And so we yeah, okay, wait, I've just gotten there. I've just gotten there. What? Okay. Oh my God, there's the wall of it. It looks amazing. Um, okay, I, I kind of want to touch and feel it, but that's where I get the sample. And, and, so, uh, and as you zoom in, you can get the technical information. You can see the different sizes that okay. it comes in. We are partnered with Material Bank okay. where we do house lots of these samples. And so we like to communicate with our clients directly. And if they choose to use Material Bank, that's been a real plus for us. And I like that you're showing the black and white because that is very, very on trend um, and is something that I think is, is the kind of thing that's going to look good forever, even though everyone wants black and white these days. <laughs> right. 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 So we're really happy with our partnership with Floorgrass. We've been working with them for over 30 years. They're a tremendous uh, partner for us. And then Ron was gonna take you through and show you this great new product from the Trend Group. Okay, wait, you know, I have to say that even, you know, because there is a, a bit more freedom in terms of color these days, but um, my designer friends who I think have the best hand using color are actually also always using black and white in their palettes. So black and white is, Forever. <laughs> Forever. Exactly. Forever. Okay, Ron. We don't, we don't disagree. Uh, I think yeah. black and white, no matter what we do, uh, is something we always have available. So when, it, when it's really introduced in a new way, that's, that's good news. I love so it. Also, as you're, you're going through the showroom, and speaking of color, uh, uh, Trend has a, is a Terrazzo product. We also uh, ha had a relationship with them for over 20 years. And when you come into the VR showroom, you could obviously look at the product. Uh, the other interesting thing, uh, you could actually, there's a measurement tool on the VR showroom. So if you wanted to be precise and understand what size piece you're looking at, you could actually do a measurement. And so you can realize this is what a 24 by 24, 24 by 48 uh, tile actually looks like. And you can confirm uh, that size with the tool, which is uh, something that we had a lot of fun with. Yeah, um, very cool. Okay, so now, now I'm heading over to Terrazzo Land, which, by the yeah. way, oh my God, it's such a huge variety of colorways. Tons and tons of colors, 52. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, plus the ability to obviously do custom things, which we have done for certain uh, quantities or uh, specific clients. Uh, the newest thing for Trend, uh, and the Terrazzo is called Origina, uh, is Microband. Okay, so explain microband for everyone out there who may not know what that actually means. Super. 
uh, Microban uh, is, is an antimicrobial product. So it's, uh, we can say that it's fired into the product or just kind of uh, built in when they are manufacturing. Um, so it's continuously working. It's a 24 uh, hour, seven day a week uh, um, tool inside uh, the material. Uh, so it's always active and it's reducing uh, growth of new bacteria. Um, so you, you're cleaner between cleanings, uh, depending on where you are. If you're in a hotel room, right, as an example. Uh, if you're certainly doing your, your kitchen countertops or pantry tops in uh, office spaces as we go forward. Uh, um, hopefully the and, restaurant. And designers, yep. Yeah, and designers are really concerned about that right now. Um, also because their clients are uh, very concerned about it, right? Correct. And, and I think the, the, the attention to it uh, happened very quickly even for us as we started to talk about it. Um, and so we'll have that also as part of the VR showroom. You can click on to uh, the Terrazzo products and you can get all the technical details. You can get all the information on Microban, uh, uh, the, the lifetime, you know, it's extended product lifetime. Uh, all the things and characteristics that you need to know uh, are all in this virtual world as well. In addition, they do all types of mosaics and, and uh, so you can kind of jump into the other products that Trend also does, uh, which we typically sell in conjunction with uh, the flooring. And this product uh, is something we, we sell from, uh, we just recently sold for a, an airport uh, flooring. We've done, again, cafeteria, we've done hospitality. You can make countertops. Um, so we, we we're really continue to be excited about it and the relationship has uh, continuously grown. And I think the microban is awfully timely uh, in yeah, I mean, the world that we live in. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think, so when we're talking about surfaces like safe or safer surfaces, uh, it's again, something that we as a, a designers never ha really had to worry about in the past. And now it's just, you know, the hot topic. So it's, it's really important for you guys to educate the designers on, on that. Uh, we certainly agree with, with that. Okay, Correct. so thank you for that. Now I want to get to new, 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 because designers are always interested in that. And um, <laughs> first of all, um, Joe, let's tell us about this long-standing relationship with Mutina. I think the, uh, the, the best way to think of Mutina is that they're unlike any other company in their space. So I think of them as a design company. Right, they're, they're not a manufacturer, they're a designer. Um, and while they do in-house design, they're really known for going and getting outside designers to help them design product for them. So predominantly, they're uh, designing porcelain tile. Um, today, we're gonna talk a little bit about Brock, which is almost more like a brick or a, a object of art. But, but I think a little bit of the history is important. So as a design-driven company, we just had this, you know, simpatico between them and we, yeah. we really enjoy each other's company and we've, we've always been delighted by their products. Um, and the fact that they go outside of kind of the normal industrial design quotient to get new designs. So they go to people like Patricia Urquiola, the Spanish-born Milan-based designer who designs hotels and furniture and carpets and textiles and is very prolific. And so when she had the opportunity to design tile, I promise you it looks like no other tile anybody had ever seen, okay? So that was kind of the initial interest. And, and you, you know Patricia and you know her. I know Patricia and I have, I have a bunch of bathrooms with Muti and I was so excited by the collection <laughs> that anytime I went into your showroom, I would sell designers on it too. I had the, um, the Azule. Azule, yes. Azule, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, so from, so Patricia Urquiola, um, Barber and Osgerby had done two collections recently that have been very successful there. Uh, British industrial designers have designed the, the torch for the uh, Olympics in the UK. They design furniture. Um, they've gone to um, Toguchin Yoshioka, and that's a Japanese designer. So each of the designers that they've gone to uh, Oftentimes, we're designing tile for the first time. And so literally, it's just 
every new design is something that delights us. And when we bring it to our clients, we get that same look. They say, I've never seen anything like this. They're, they're a smaller company compared to like a floor grass. So, you know, they're the Ferrari to the floor grass of the, the Fiat. And uh, Mutina is much more boutique -y. High design, really unique. And for things like flooring and walls um, with hard surfaces, sometimes the, the, the regular stuff is just not, not as dynamic. Wait, Joe, do you, do you guys remember that you, we had lunch together? This was years ago now. And you pulled out a tile at lunch uh, from Patricia with Mutina. And it was like the first kind of like off dirty pink before that became <laughs> huge. It was like the first tile that ever landed in the US that had that tone. And you guys were like, what do you think? You know, and oh my God, talk about being right on trend and starting yes. the trend, frankly. That, yeah, that was the Tierras collection. And you know what I remember from the lunch is I called the color peach and you promptly corrected me and said, no, blush. Right. And so <laughs> from, from, from then on, blush is my, my go-to term with anything that's in, in that colorway. And obviously you hosted our event here with uh, when Patricia was here. I think exactly. that's six, six years ago already. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so you think about when blush wasn't like a color, like yes. right Where, when it was like, whoa. So that was a long time ago. Now it's like, oh, blush. <laughs> well, he, exactly. And, and, and here's a funny story about Mutina in general. Um, we always introduce their new products as our new products, right? We have this, this um, and you know, they have new products every year and we're always featuring their new products. Sometimes their new product introduction does not sell the first year, but it sells the second year and the third and the fourth year. And that's because they're, if they're at the very forefront of kind of design philosophy or colorway, sometimes it literally can take six, nine, 12 months. Other products sell right away. And so we've both agreed, both companies, that we withhold judgment because if they're early, it doesn't mean they're wrong. It just means the rest of the world has to catch up. And so yes. that's been our experience. First of all, that's so smart of you. I completely agree because I think sometimes the most exciting things are ahead of the trend and you have to give people time to catch up. And that's why sometimes collections that you're so smart to hold on because sometimes amazing ideas are in the back room somewhere because it didn't sell right away. Yes. Um, brilliant, brilliant. All right, so you're gonna say, okay, let's get to some so, news. Wait, so yeah. yeah. Go ahead, okay. Ron's gonna talk about the bra collection. Okay, so, so I know this is an artist, right? That, that they this, were. Is, this is an artist, Natalie Deposquier. And uh, the interesting note is, is Natalie was one of the original founders of Memphis in Milan, wow. right? And so uh, imagine the, the, the think tank that that was in the, in the early 80s, and you yeah. still see their product being sold today and, and the use of color and uh, making furniture and making textiles and carpets. Uh, so Natalie, since 1987, has been a painter, um, and one of the first things uh, she did with Mutina was create these brick towers, uh, and they had an art exhibit, so it wasn't even making tile. It was for an art exhibit that she did in, in their premises, and Mutina has changed their DNA as well. So they're also aligning art in addition to making tile, and it's a passion of Massimo, the owner, uh, um, very, you know, modern art driven he loves all of the uh, incredibly peculiar things in some cases but uh, clearly leading uh, uh, the industry uh, with artwork and so he told me this story about you know this wonderful person and i met her and she's she was born in france but she's milan so she's really italian and you know <laughs> massimo is a very animated individual if you remember and yeah. um, he saw these towers they call them and they were made of brick and she painted the brick in different colors and just basically uh, there's eight or 10 of them that they did this installation and people just kind of flipped out uh, and he pursued her to, you have to make a tile line for us. And within six months, they actually had a collection together, which is very, very fast. Um, and when you see it, I think the, the, the tile is kind of treated as artwork. So when you see these pieces and patterns, uh, of, of one of these other new things called margarita. It's pretty incredible. Uh, the one that's over my shoulder yeah. is more homage to what she built in these towers with brick. So it's terracotta. It's an extruded terracotta. So a historical building product. 
right? Uh, it's been used forever. Uh, and she's basically created this idea that you could play with light uh, inside a space. It's, it's obviously just a, a false wall. If you call it something like that, you could be framed, um, uh, meant as a partition and that sort of thing. Um, but it's a sculpture. And so one of the other things we did in the showroom to shoot the VR showroom is we wanted to build these, then there's two displays, one with Chelicea, which is Patricia's product in terracotta, um, and then the Brock. And so actually in the VR showroom, you can walk around the piece. So like you would, you would do in a museum, right? So if this was on display, you could physically walk around the piece. So we've uh, accomplished that in the VR showroom uh, and you'll be able to see that, but. So, so a couple things. So it's, yep. um, how many colorways does it come in? You have uh, five colors. There's the, the argilla, if you can see just the plain terracotta. Mm -hmm. And then there's four glazed colors. The glazes are done by hand. If I could grab one, this may be your, this may be your favorite one. Gorgeous. Um, Gorgeous. Uh, this is called salvia. And basically they kind of hang the, uh, the terracotta piece and it's sprayed by hand to get the glaze. It's pretty incredible. So the glaze product you, cook, you can put outside. Uh, the, the regular terracotta, because it's, there's too much absorption, would just be an interior product. Um, but you can do vertical installation, as you can kind of see behind me. Yeah. Uh, you could do horizontal or even the pieces interlock. Beautiful. So, so really pretty fascinating one piece creating all these type of designs. We're really excited about it. Um, Ron, it's, it's for commercial and residential, right? Commercial, for residential. Uh, yeah. Again, lobby spaces, we've sold the Chelicea uh, for people have done um, the front of cash wraps uh, in front uh -huh. of bars. Um, there was a hotel we did in Hawaii where they actually, they painted the name of the hotel like on top of the pieces. So I think it's, it's this creative uh, item of a very traditional product. We're really excited about it. It's a lot of fun and getting to learn about Natalie has been uh, also a fun idea, and we'll have a new product from them uh, coming up early next year that she's designed. So we're That's very amazing. excited. I want to meet Natalie. She sounds amazing. Me too. <laughs> Designers will love this because anything in modules that they can create, you know, give them a DNA, you know, give them something to start with, and then there, yes. you know, guys, the limit. I love that it creates architecture within spaces and the light coming through. It's beautiful. No, that's, that's a great point. And I think a lot of times when I, I look at product or think about product, you want, you want to give the designer that opportunity, right? I always say give a designer A, B, or C, and they'll always go for D. So you got to let them have their D. <laughs> got to let them have fun. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so, so what's your, give, give a last word on Brock. Well, I, you know, I think that the idea of uh, what the finished product is going to look like is limitless. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so we're going to do a quick recap. First of all, amazing, amazing new technology with the virtual showroom. So designers, you really can see what's happening. You can use your phone and scan the products. Uh, don't worry about sampling because um, our friends at Stone Source work with Material Bank. Uh, and then there are collections that you're always going to want to specify from. There's the black and white, there's Terrazzo and then this new Mutina collection called Brock. Amazing. I want some. Look, guys, look. I yes, exactly. Hello. <laughs> We've been admiring that for months, Cindy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's fantastic. Well, listen, it was so much fun. Um, thank you, Joe. Thank you, Ron, for sharing and being a leader in this industry and supporting the designers in this way with new tools, new product. We need it. We need to stay inspired. And you guys definitely inspire us. Thanks so much, Cindy. Great to see you, Cindy. Yeah, thank you. We'll get on the other side of this one. <laughs> <laughs> we will. For sure. Okay. Bye, guys.